right everyone welcome to the video brand new episode sorry for not recording yesterday i was pissed i took sales calls and i did not close them so i was pissed i was acting like a child but i am back on the grind um and today as you guys can see i'm dressed a bit better than usual i know you guys think i only wear white t-shirts and black t-shirts but i'm going out tonight with a old friend of mine he has zero knowledge whatsoever when it comes to the online business space which is why i like spending time with him because I, I, I force myself to not just talk about the business and only think about that. Because with him, I can't really bring up like the things that we talk about here on our video. So um, it's going to be a great experience. Um, I'm about to head out, but I wanted to record a real quick video for you guys before. Um, today's subject, I want to talk about um, how to manage stress when it comes to running a business. And this is not going to be some start meditating, journaling and stuff like that. Um, I am a very logical person, okay? For those that don't know, I used to be an engineering student. I did two years um, out of my degree and I dropped out to focus on the business because I did start during college. So for me, I've always been like a numbers guy and just logic-based decisions. And I want to explain how me tracking my data, knowing my numbers has allowed me to just take my stress from here. And I am naturally a very stressed person take my stress level from here and bring it all the way here. Is it non-existent? No, you're always gonna be stressed, but it did really help me, okay? And I recently got a question from a student of mine who asked me, Oliver, can you make a video on how you're able to manage stress? He's like, I started spending money on ads and I am so terrified of losing money, not being able to be profitable. I have no idea what's happening. I don't know if they're good, if they're not good. And I know you're spending a bit more on ads. So how are you able to sleep well at night knowing you're spending like every day there's money that's being spent? Um, currently, we spend about 500 per day on ad spend. Um, and if you told me that maybe a year ago or like six months ago, I, I would have looked at you like you're crazy. I'm like, there's no way in hell I'd be spending $500 per day in ad spend. That is a insane amount of money. And I remember when I first started running ads, I was spending, I think a hundred bucks per day. And that, even though we were making at the time, maybe 30 K, 40 K per month, something like that, I was stressing like crazy. I don't know why it, it represents such a small number, but essentially we transitioned from doing cold DMS to now fully doing paid ads with organic. And that I think was just a two layers of stress. One is we were switching our acquisition method. And two, I was starting to invest into acquisition, into acquiring clients. And back in the day, everything was like commission-based, like risk-free. Because obviously, if you don't close anywhere from cold DMs, you're not spending money to get those leads. They're cold leads. But when you get leads from paid ads, if you don't close them, then you're losing money because you're paying to have conversations with these people. So now the stress was starting to kick in. So I'm like, okay, so I need to increase ad spend to make more money, but that means I need to spend... 200, 300, 400, 500 bucks, 1K per day. And I remember at around 100 bucks, 200 bucks, I was talking with my media buyer and he's like, yeah, we need to spend more on ads. We're not spending enough to make as much as we were making with cold DMs. And I, I was just so, I was like, yeah, let's do it. But like in front of my, my team, of course, I act very confident. I'm like, yeah, guys, let's, let's increase ads when like everything will be okay. But uh, behind the scenes, I was stressing like crazy. I'm like, oh my God. Like 200, 300 bucks per day is like just leaving my account every single day. And that uh, person, that client that came to me and asked me like, Oliver, how do you manage that stress? He's about at that level right now. He's spending about hundred bucks per day. And the number one thing that helped me manage my stress when it came to the ad specifically, and you guys will see how this translates to basically every aspect of the business is when I started tracking my ads, which I know looking back is stupid. I mean, if you're running money, if you're running ads, you should be tracking your numbers, but I wasn't really tracking everything perfectly. Like it was, just, I, I knew more or less how much money we were making from ads, but it was mixed with like YouTube leads with cold DMS and stuff like that. So I didn't know what money exactly was produced by ads. And I remember that. And I, I this one night I was stressing like crazy. I, I just got up in the middle of the night. I took my computer and I'm like, let me actually calculate how much money we made from ads. And back then I wasn't tracking which lead came from which source. 
So I didn't even know this person that we closed. Were they a YouTube lead? Code DM, did they come from my ads? If it was the ads, which ad actually brought them in? So I just took my entire list of clients and one by one manually marked where they came from. And I did that. It took me maybe an hour or two. And by the end of it, I had a whole list of who came from my ads, who came from YouTube and who came from other sources. And then I compared it to how much money we were spending on ads and then directly compared it with the clients that came from ads. How much money did we make from that? And I realized we were doing about at the time, like a 4.5 X on the front end. So that means for every dollar that I was spending on ads, we were making about four and a half dollars back, which is really good. And I was like, oh, so basically the more money I spend on ads, the more money I'll make. And that just completely changed my perspective because it went from, oh no, I am scared to spend a hundred bucks per day to I want to spend more because if I just 4X my money every time I spend, I, I want to spend 1K per day so I can make 4K. And that's the shift I had in my sort of belief. And when I realized that, I started doing that in every single other aspect of the company. I started tracking everything. And things were, let's say, raising prices. That's another thing that I'm kind of afraid to do. Like, I like our current prices. They work well. Like, people are buying. But I know we could probably charge more for what we do. And I am terrified to raise prices. Even, like, I, I just, I have, like, this bond with our current price because we've just had it for such a long time. And then when I realize that, I'm like, it's just a math equation. I'm like, if I, let's say, double the price, triple the price, what's going to be our new closing rate? And do we end up making more money? And then I can compare it and I can make a logical decision instead of being emotional about my current price. So I'm like, okay, so if I test this price and I take, let's say 10, 15 sales calls, what happens? How much money do I end up making within those 10 calls with the new price point? Yes. Less people will say yes to me because it's more expensive, but is it going to basically be two times less expensive or am I end up, am I going to end up making more money? And that's basically the approach that I started having um, with my entire company is making decisions based off data, based off logic. And that's exactly what I told my student. He was stressing about ads. I told him, I'm like, are you tracking your stuff? And I told him, track everything like crazy. I gave him my tracking sheet. I showed him how I did it. And funny enough, once he started tracking everything, he's like, hey, Oliver, I'm making a 3x on the front end and 6x on LTV when I'm working, when I get clients from ads. So I'm like, oh, so are you as stressed right now about spending a hundred bucks per day on ads? Cause you're making 300 bucks per day basically. And he's like, no, I'm not. He's like, I want to spend more. I'm like, there you go. So the lesson here is that most of the time when you're stressed or you're scared about something, especially in business, if you can break it down with numbers and just switch it to like a logic based decision versus emotional, emotional based decision. Um, most of the time you're able to just completely disregard your feelings and your emotions and just make a decision purely based off the numbers. And you can apply this to so many departments in your company. Okay. So that was the importance for me of tracking numbers, not only to understand the metrics and see like, okay, where are we making money and everything, but just for my sanity, just for me to be able to sleep well at night. I was like, okay, we've, we've been doing a very good ROI on our ads for the past six months. So for me to increase ad spend is it's like, it's not a big deal. I'm not like stressed whatsoever. My team will say we should raise ad spend. I'm like, yeah, go ahead. And the last thing I think about is, oh my God, we're spending money on ads. Like it's not a stress factor because I know when we spend more, we make more. Uh, so that's a good belief change that I had. Uh, hopefully if you guys aren't tracking anything in your company, and you're stressing about performance, about how much money you're, you're going to be making a simple Google sheet where you start tracking your basic numbers of whatever you're doing. Uh, trust me, will help you a lot. Okay. So I hope this was useful. Um, I'm going to get ready. I'm going to be leaving pretty soon. Um, as usual, if ever you have any questions for me, feel free to leave a comment, send me a message on Instagram. Otherwise, best of luck with everything. And we'll see each other on tomorrow's video. Peace.